Man, PvP is so hard. Right, but now you got some help from your all-time favorite YouTube channel, Click Skills Adamantium Mercenaries. <laughs> we start with a Rocky Raccoon and Spider Man one. Check this out. It's Team Autopilot and it just works all on itself. You have one counter of follow-up attack and guess what happens? Follow-up after follow-up after follow-up after follow-up after follow-up. Man, it never stops. I even saw that team killing a whole enemy team just before the first term of Quicksilver. Is that fucking awesome? Yes, it is. So. Make sure you have a scrapper with you or some, perhaps some an infiltrator and you get some nice follow up or counter attack items like the mandible or the relentless rapier and just see the magic happens all on itself. Man, just look at the picture. Ah, did I mention this one weakness? It's a combo breaker so you don't want to fight against heroic age iron fist. But who wants that anyway? Enchantress and the Horseman of Pestilence. <laughs> I bet my last drop of boost that you already encountered that team. And man, it sucks to fight against it. Except you have a scrapper. But anyway, well, you can't remove the debuffs because of Beast. And Enchantress is just spreading debuffs and debuffs and debuffs and makes your team lose turns and attack your allies and man it just grinding your gears all the time. With a high defense bonus this team can really kick ass, but you know, every team has a weakness and so has this. It's first Scrapper, man this can really damage your whole team because of Enchantress and if your beast falls. Man, you don't want to even think about that. The enemy is now able to remove the debuffs and your whole tactic goes down the waterfall, okay? So, uh, you want to be quick and you want to make the enemy lose turns. And you definitely want to spread debuffs because of Enchantress level 9 attack. And that goes wah, Emerald Wave. Mm, perhaps some massive crits and the enemy is down. So you perhaps want to use that team for your defense, but for your offense, I got another choice. It's Quicksilver and Starlord, aka Quicklord. And what can I tell you about that team? You already fought it like a thousand times the last seasons, but okay, I'll do it once again. So, you have Quicksilver and he always has the first turns. Except there's another Quicksilver, I know, okay, 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 but then, then you have Starlord and he has a nice passive. And because of that, everyone just joins in on single target attacks and uh, you can kill the enemy before he can even think of uh, using the cube or whatever, it's just like bam bam and there's the other one, kabam and the agent slash with the rapier and uh, you won. And it's definitely a much 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 faster way than uh, with a Pestion Trance or other uh, defensive teams. Uh, just take a look yourself. Oh, uh, I forgot an important detail. Uh, you don't want to fight against Heroic Age Iron Fist or a Safeguard Scrap Suit. And of course, you don't want to fight against another Quick Lore team, okay? And the next team is like the Combo Breaker. It's the answer. It's Heroic Age Iron Fist and Skurn, the Breaker of Man. Oh, is that nice music? I guess I don't have to be that serious anymore. Okay, let's uh, say some words about this. Uh, you have your rogue Age Iron Fist and, well, he's a combo breaker and he can heal and he can prevent debuffs, except there's a pestilence beast on the field. And you have Skurn the Breaker of Man and, gosh, she has double turn and with her uh, personal empowered Iso, she can just prevent turns from you and any actions, uh, but you have to buy it with gold, so I hope you, you have some spare gold and <laughs> use it, it's really nice. And uh, of course this team is all about armor melee attacks, so um, you don't want to fight against someone with a watchful eye from some see, forgotten PvP season, I don't know, 21, whatever. So uh, you can have fast wins, you can have uh, slow loses, it's nice, it works just on itself. Hold it <laughs> and stomp your way through. 
Nolan Curf, a.k.a. The Wealthy. And I know you fear that team. Why? Man, it's the fear itself. You got those nasty runes of Curf and they snap your stamina or make you attack your allies or <laughs> prevent your attacks at all. Man, what the fuck? She's just nasty. And then you have Null, who I can say, you have Meteor Swarm, and with every magic or ground attack, these stacks stack up in the high like skyscraper in Dubai. Whatever. This team's just awful. Man, you. It, you what? Can you even fight that? Yeah, you can. Just use some blasters and. Um, and that down. But you have to be quick. If you're not quick, you're dead. Well, it was nice. The music fitted really good. So just let's watch the death of Agent Loser. Why would someone even use that name? Whatever. Heroic Age Iron Fist and Null, the Breaker of Worlds. Do I have to explain that team? It's like a mix of all the others. Okay, once more. You have Iron Fist and he has nice combo breaker. That means it's Quick Lord teams or Rocket Raccoon Spider-Man War teams are a real problem. And um, Null makes pre-counters too. That makes it a nice pre-counter team. Uh, you have Meteor Swarm, stacks that can't be removed, except Null dies. And uh, <laughs> I forgot, you got Heroic Edge Iron Fist, massive healing powers, and he even can prevent t for the whole team. So, man, look, I just fast forwarded this fight 600%. Yeah? So, it takes forever. You just can't lose. So, try it in your defense, but if you want to win fast, you gotta try another team. And guess what? It's the never forgotten follow up attack team Union Jack and Spider Man War. <laughs> Look at that, it's a double view. And follow up after follow up after follow up. And with a scrapper like Union Jack, Pestion Trust teams are on a problem anymore for you, guy. But if you think this team is all about follow ups, man, you're wrong. It's all about follow-ups, and of course, Union Jack's preemptive attacks, and they're, they're really nice. You, you have his personal augmented ISO, well, that's nice, you got it. Quick action flanked, and you can remove debuffs, and it's just a preemptive attack after preemptive attack after preemptive attack, but once your Union Jack falls, your team is just like... It's... It's dead. Okay, it's dead. Just dead. But try it. It's very fun in offense and um, ah okay. And you, you don't want a noir to die too because one falls, the team falls. But you can win fast. Whatever. Well, that was the best PvP teams. Like, subscribe, click skills, and a man, you mercenaries.